Fred, thanks very much. All right. We got a very busy man here. He's got a lot of people waiting on him, but I want to start off with a quick story. It wasn't that long ago that a group of kids with a small camera decided they wanted to make a zombie movie. And I'm not talking about the kids in Super 8. I'm talking about a guy named George Romero, uh, directing a film student at Carnegie Mellon University. He said he wanted to make a movie called Night of the Living Dead. And he was inspired by a program put on by this man. Let's have the music, let's have the theme song, and we're give a humongous Weirton welcome to Chile. Billy Cardelli. Good afternoon and welcome to Chiller Theater in Weirton, West Virginia. Hi, everybody. Congratulations on the Super 8 movie. I've seen sneak peeks on the national television. I'm a hockey fan and I saw it on the playoffs. Fantastic. Congratulations. And it couldn't happen to a better city. It's really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Also, I want to thank the staff, Eric. I want to thank and the committee for inviting me down here. Uh, it's been really busy. I know some of the folks down here listen to me on uh, 1320 WJAS. I'm there every day from 10 until 3 in the AM station. And uh, we interview a lot of the movie stars and folks like that from time to time. And I had the good opportunity to talk about all of you. I'll have more to say tomorrow uh, between 10 and 3. It's been a fantastic day. I want to get back to the tent with the blue on the top because I, have, I brought a lot of pictures. They're free, and I'd be glad to sign a picture for you as soon as I finish telling you how much I enjoy being here. I also only have a few uh, DVDs uh, on the web. It's chillertheatermemories.com. We get mail from all over the world. And last night, the man that's responsible for that made 25 Chiller Theater insert DVDs. And first come, first serve, it's $20. And that helps him run the uh, uh, program that he runs for Chiller Theater. Uh, on behalf of the committee and everybody, I, I really want to tell you thanks. It's nice. Tremendous turnout. Tremendous. And uh, looking forward to maybe having you make another movie here. Yeah. It'll probably be better than Super 8. How about that? Huh? But, you know, we did Schiller for about 20 years. What was that? Yeah. Oh, you wanted to bring back Schiller Theater. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've had about two or three offers to do that, but every time the station calls, I tell them, get the movies first. Even the black and whites, I know that it would work well, because we were in the pioneer days of TV, and it would be so much fun. I enjoyed producing it and writing it and performing on it. We had a great cast. We had great support. We had Norman from your area. How about that? Right. He was a terrific kid. And just say to all of you, have a happy life, enjoy your life, and God bless all of you. Bye-bye. Come on over to the blue booth. I'm going over now. Before you go to your booth, Bill, on behalf of City Council and the Mayor of the City of Weirton, I want to give you a get-out-of-jail-free card. We want to bestow upon you honorary citizenship. Can I read it? Honorary Citizen Award. This is to certify that Bill, Chili Billy Cardell, is hereby appointed an honorary citizen of the city of Weirton, West Virginia. Given under my hand this fifth day of June, 2011, Mark Harris, Mayor. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. You know, I, I do want to mention one thing. If any of you ever go to New York and you go up there and you're visiting the Radio TV Museum right in the heart of Manhattan, that's where they, if you go in there, you'll be able to dial up old shows and old stars like Jack Parr. Uh, you name it, they're there. 
And I'm glad to tell you that I was inducted in 1996, and you can watch two hours in color of Chiller Theater in New York at the Radio TV Museum, along with Ed Sullivan and Steve Allen and Chili Billy. So I feel like I made it because of you. Thank you. Thank you.